Hi, I'm Jen, and welcome to another episode of The Jen Thoden Show, the place to be to create your most stylish and confident you. In today's episode, we're going to answer a style me question, and here is what is uh, was sent to me. Hi, Jen. I'm a soft summer, and I'm having trouble styling this shirt. It's my work shirt. I have to wear it, but anything else goes as long as it's not completely covered up. So no scarves since that's not functional for my line of work. It's not particularly cool toned or muted on the, on, in color. So nothing in my palette goes really good with it except maybe gray. Okay. So let's take a look at the shirt. Okay. So here is the shirt and I can see why she's having some, some issues with it. Um, she is a soft summer and that means that she has cool undertones and favors cool colors, soft and muted colors. When you look at the color wheel for someone who is soft, um, and I'm giving you a a sneak peek into the color wheels that I'm creating. So this isn't a finished product yet but it was still good enough to communicate what I'm trying to do. This is a a color wheel for someone who has uh, soft muted uh, tones. And as you can see here, the color is here. You can see it. Um, it's, it's, It's on the warm side of the color wheel. It's about right here in the green. And, and that's one of the reasons why it doesn't really feel good to wear for someone who has cool undertones because it's starting to get a little too warm for them. And someone who's got cool undertones typically doesn't look great in warm colors. So the, the, the good thing is, is that the level of saturation in the, in the shirt is actually fairly low. So it's not like she has to wear a bright lime green shirt. That would be really difficult to work with. It's actually in the soft color palette. And so that's on the color wheel, I should say. And so that's actually a really good thing. We just need to now introduce some other colors that are more complementary to her and, uh, and try to pull this look over into the cool side of the color wheel. So we want to favor the colors that are on the cool side here. Now this wheel goes very, very dark and someone who's typically a soft summer cannot wear these dark, these dark, super dark colors. So we're going to focus kind of in the middle here, just like where this, the shirt color is, we're going to focus in this middle lighter, lighter uh, set of bands. What I would recommend is I would reach over just a little bit. I wouldn't go too far over if you really want something that is uh, more on the conservative side and, and easier to wear. And, uh, you know, choose probably from like this nice soft teal, maybe even maybe not darker or lighter, just there and wear it underneath the shirt. Now I know you can't wear um, scarves, but I bet you, it seems like you've got a pretty deep V neck there if you don't button the shirt. So I would wear a shirt underneath it that's that comes up like a crew neck close to the neck and brings some of the cooler colors into the look. And so like a tank top or t-shirt under, or even a long sleeve shirt underneath this, in this color, would really make a huge difference in how this looks on you. Now on the bottom here, there are colors that go with it. If you don't want to, if you can't wear jeans or you don't want to wear just gray or just black, uh, some of these, the cool uh, blue soft teals, uh, cool blue grays, and even over here into the cool soft purples would look really nice with this color. You are getting a little bit further away from the green and the color wheel, which means that you're going to be creating more of a dynamic look. So when you find them, when you get over to the purples and the magentas, you're going to have more of a dynamic look. And as you stay over here close to the greens, it's a softer look. It might be a little bit more harmonious with um, a soft summer's overall coloring but you do have choices here. I would not go over here into the warm color palette. That's for someone who is soft and warm and this person is cool. Okay. So just, we could also brighten up a little bit, add a little bit more energy by coming one more over to like the, the, uh, blue sky, blue grays. 
And if we really want to get a, a dynamic look, we can reach over into the, the soft magentas and put something under there. And that's really going to pop and be a much more energized, higher contrast, dynamic look, but could be a lot of fun. Now I'm showing you this in solid circles. You can translate this into anything you want. So even if it's a statement necklace that has these colors in it, that would also be a lot of fun. So I would recommend if you can find a t-shirt that comes up fairly high that has one of these colors in it and then also get some jewelry a statement necklace something fun that has these colors as well and really just have a, you know, a little bit of a playful effect here and I think that would look really really nice and again even with for the pants you don't have to do a neutral you certainly could and um, it might be easier for the type of line of work you're in I'm not sure but if you do want some colors I would do a nice navy blue blue gray or even um, even like a, a deeper version of the uh, magenta here would be very very pretty okay so I hope that helps if you have a style me question and request, please send it to styleclub at outfitideasforyou.com. You can also visit the blog at outfitideasforyou, that's the number four, y-o-u.com, and you'll see lots of outfit ideas and different color palettes. Subscribe to the newsletter so that you'll get a weekly uh, letter on um, the color of the week, outfit ideas, and style tips on how to wear your colors for your natural coloring and tone. And you know what, if you like this content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, you know, join in the conversation by linking over and commenting on the posts. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video.